Hello? This is Irin from the Variety Gamers UK, and this is me playing Totally Accurate Battle Sun Laser because today has been awful. I'm in Discord chat, so I'm also figuring that out and making sure that doesn't give me any issues. But it seems to all be fine, so I'll test it again if someone joins. So, let's start this because this has been a nightmare and I've gone through so many games already. Just to come all full circle and go on tabs. It's spent, I've spent half an hour trying to figure out one game to play on this. One game. <laughs> Surprisingly, not many fighting games actually have bloody player versus play with CPU versus CPU, which is surprising. Right, so what teams can we get? No, did not want to do. I forgot how to play this completely. This is going to be fun. Ah, right. Need to figure this out now. What team? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. So today has been a nightmare just to do this. Totally accurate. Battle Simulator isn't a game to be played, it's just a game to place things. It is surprising there is a load of CPU games and it is huge. CPU battles, there is channels that are growing huge because of them. There's people that watch things. A lot of people. Crazy like me. Right, so we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And a secret, which I'm assuming is the big, yeah. We haven't got any of them, so. Secret doesn't matter, we've got eleven teams. Um. Considering how I haven't managed to actually plan this properly, I need to get my bracket thing up. And since there's no random feature, I'll have to do it through that. I've probably got this sorted before if <laughs> it wasn't so hard just to find one. Well, fighting games are usually the ones with CPU versus CPU, that's why I'm so shocked. They're usually the easy one. Apparently technology wants to fail me today. Crash that out. So I'm just trying to get the bracket up. That's not working either. Technology doesn't like me today. It's taken me about three attempts to load every game up. And yeah, it's just generally. I'm breaking everything. <laughs> I really am. Maybe that'll work. Here we go. We're actually gonna get this started soon. <laughs> I'm having about as much luck with everything it seems today. So now just call it tabs, it'll be easy enough, single elimination.
Um, description, I'm trying to be quick, so we'll just put battles. Right, so there's 11 participants. We have tribal. Farmer. Medieval. We, we already know which team I'm going to vouch for, even though playing as that certain team in this game, they're actually not that great. <laughs> So I don't think they're going to win the tournament, but I want them to win the tournament. Uh, Viking. Dynasty. Renaissance. There's more teams than I remember there being anyway. Pirates. That's the one. That isn't going to win, but I'd like them to win. Spooky. Wild West. And Legacy. Right, so, so first off, it turns out <laughs> Pirates have a little less chance because they get to take on Spooky straight away. So, let's figure out how we're going to do this and turn the mouse off because it's winding me up. Um, here we go. So we have, we'll have 10 in the first unit, 5 in the next 3, 2 of these 2 and, I don't know, it's going to be a fun part really. Well, we can only have up to 30 units anyway. So. 10, 2, 2, 2. We'll figure it out. Right. That is 8, yes. We'll go eight four. We're going to improve on this, obviously. Just for now, while I'm figuring out the numbers, and then we'll add numbers. And obviously one super unit. So if we add Oh, you can actually move just single units now, that's good. There we go. Um so oh Yeah, I've got, I've got an idea. Yeah, we will have we'll only have one Reaper. We'll have um, two more Skeleton Warriors, so we'll definitely have the ten. 
Five arches. Three candle heads. Three vampires. Three pumpkin catapults. Three sword casters. That's not. Yeah, it is sword caster. Got confused then. And two extra warriors, so. We're going to have 12 front line and then it slowly goes down but we can pretty much just absolutely switch this around. This this has not been planned because I've had zero time to actually plan this. So to switch army. There we go. So, no, we don't have Farmer, it's Pirate. <laughs> pirate versus Spooky for the first fight, so this is going to go well. Pirate are going to probably get destroyed. Just a lot more organisation than I expected to have to do today. I expected this to be nice and neat, nice and simple. So we're going to have 12 flint Flintlocks, because I'm assuming we've got the exact same number of units. It does look like it. So, one... Two, three, with um, pirates being the quite arranged army, I think they're going to get destroyed by the skeletons, but we'll see. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's why I reckon pirates are going to get destroyed. But we're going to find out. This is what tournaments are for. Finding out who's going to win and who's going to lose. Half the pirate force is probably going to get wiped out by these guys. That's definitely what I'm going to assume is going to happen. Harpooners are going to be funny because they're hilarious. Um, and then we want free cannons because, you know, we've got heavy artillery behind the lines. And three captains, surprisingly. We've got multiple um, pirate armies here. You know, not so much because it's only 30 to 30. And we've got the pirate queen at the end, at the back. So we've got the first tournament battle about to commence. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. Three, two, one. Bites. So it looks like it could get. It looks like I don't know. It could go either way, really. Pirates seem to be gaining ground. The Reaper has been taken out by the cannons. The, it's only the catapults remain. The pirates won. The pirates have actually won. But, as we always do, we are going to do a best of three. So, if they win again, they're automatically through. If they lose, then we have to see which team wins after that. Then we know if it's not just a lucky go. So let's see again. But it already looks like the pirates have an advantage again. Oh, but the Reaper is still alive this time. Yep, the pirates 
go through with two fights. So I'm happy to say the Pirates have actually made it through to the second round. So, next is Legacy versus Dynasty. Gonna have the exact same um, way of doing it, because I like it. Right. I'm just going to remove an army at a time, because then I know the exact formation. We've got 12, 5, 3, 3, 3 and whatnot. Because then I'm not accidentally making any mistakes and making it so... Oh, fuck. I was supposed to do that thing, actually, wasn't I? Bollocks. <laughs> uh, that's how unorganised I am. Fuck. Well, I'm going to make up for forgetting to do the prediction thing right now. We're not predicting the pirates to go through the first one. We've missed that one. But now we are going to get that up and running. Um, create a dashboard. That's the one. So let's start a prediction. So it'll take like a couple of minutes to set up, so I'm gonna have it for two minutes of setup. So who will win between Legacy and Dynasty? Am I not clicked in the box? Uh, we have two minutes prediction time because it'll take me a while to load to do the army, so I don't think it'll take five. So the prediction has started. So, Legacy versus Dynasty. Oh. Well. Okay. Right, we're going to restart the tournament because apparently Legacy isn't really a thing. Wow. This is the thing when I haven't played this game in so long. My money's on your money's on Dynasty. Well, unfortunately, Legacy isn't actually a thing. <laughs> Show it as a team. I don't know what it is. So we were starting the tournament because I'm an idiot. Um. How do we move on? Right, so there we go. We're going to restart and then I won't forget the entire thing again. So, I know the rest are actually to be done. Oh, Spooking Pirate was still the first one anyway, apparently. We're going to reset that for you, actually. No, don't do that. It's bloody got rid of all my things. Viking. Did 
in a state. I'm breaking everything today. Renaissance. Pirates. Spooky. And Wild West. Okay, so... Apparently until this one's done, I'm probably not going to get the Pirates and Spookies out the way, so... We're not going to vote for the first one, because we know how that goes. <laughs> Apparently, I need to figure out this app a little bit better, because it's still Spooky vs. Pirate. So... We have Renaissance versus Wild West. So let's get rid of that. Silly, silly, silly one earlier. Choose outcome prediction, delete. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it returns points. That's all right then. Uh, that's good then. At least I know that's a thing. You fucked up, here you go, your points are back. Who will win? Renaissance... And Wild West. It's quite funny, because they're not exactly far time frames. So Renaissance, Wild West, start prediction. And then two minutes to actually get it right for a change. God. Renaissance. Right, let's see. So, painters. One, two, three, four, five. I, I don't even need to count, actually. There's a counter in the bottom corner, so... Don't know why I'm counting. Fences. Balloon arches. Whatever balloon arches are. Musketeers. Howbeards. Jousters. And last but not least, a tank. A Da Vinci tank. And they are against the Wild West, which includes Dynamite Throwers, Miners, Cactus, Gunslinger, Lasso, Dead Eye, and Quick Draw. So, wow. Quite the diverse amount of units there. There we go. So, let's all start with our dynamite throwers. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got a feeling this start is going to be very explosive. <laughs> Dynamite throwers as a frontline soldier. <laughs> I 
And then three cactuses. Three cactus men, I'm assuming. Three gunslingers. This will be the first, this will be the official start. Because uh, of my silliness so far. So, uh, so both teams have a form of category, uh, cavalry. Cavalry. We've got three dead eyes and crit draw. So, let's see how this fight goes. How this fares for both teams. Whew. I have no idea what's even going on at the moment. Oh. This, this is a hard fight to keep an eye on. I think... I don't know who's winning. I have no idea. I think Wild Wild I think Wild West is winning. But I'm not entirely sure what's going on myself. So no, um No, actually yeah. So, um Renaissance takes the first win. That is one. To, no, that is one to Renaissance. So then we start again. No wait, it's one to the Wild West. What am I on about? My God, I'm doing well. Yeah. Once the Wild West, who are the red team? So we're going to try next and see how that goes. So, there we go. So, blue one last round. Can red read one back? goes through apparently in this game if someone wins they go sh they pretty much win every single one so wild wild west is through so we have tribal versus pirate as our next Thank you for the host, Edgar. Thank you for partying with one meaty immunity. Um, so we're going to start the next prediction. The next prediction is between the teams of Tribal and Pirates. So let's see who will win. So in first slot we have Tribal and in second slot we have Pirate. So vote for which team you feel will win with your community points. If you feel like you know how this is going to go or have a feeling on which team will win. It, it, it is. It is Can't Be Bothered to Play Games Tuesday. 
I just, I just really enjoy watching two armies just bash into each other. Um, tribal versus pirates. So you want... Where's tribal? Tribal is that one. So we've got... I, I, I mean, I've, I do have to place them all, so I've got to play it to a point. Only to a bit of a point, though. Then we've got some spear throwers. Some stoners. <laughs> some bone mages. Three chieftains and a mammoth. And now set up the pirate side. Since the Wild West men decided to uh, win. You're putting the mammoth in the back. Yeah, that's that's what I do with Earthen. <laughs> both both sides of the special units are all at the back. Uh, so the pirates, I ain't actually clicked on. So if so, the cheapest it starts from cheapest unit and most expensive to the back. Because putting pirates right up close and personal with all their flintlocks and stuff isn't really a smart idea either, to be fair. Historically, you put the elephants up front and let them wreak havoc. Just ask Cannibal, who is considered pretty good at that stuff. Oh, I know all about strategy. <laughs> it's, it's, I know all about Hannibal and the Romans and all that lot. That's kind, that's kind of the problem why I like this kind of... Like watching big battles commence and stuff. Time commanders, I really enjoy time commanders. It's it's all right. Putting the cannons at the back isn't usually a generally good idea either. Hey, whack! How's it going? You're back for another Can't Be Bothered to Play Games Tuesday. <laughs> Which is the new title. I mean, think about it from the respect to the foot soldier. Is your attention going to be fo totally focused on the job in front of you when there's a couple of tons of frothing mad... Packy Derm screaming down your neck. <laughs> yeah, easy. So, Whack, I think you missed the vote. Who do you think's gonna win? Pirate or Tribal? Oh, that's that's bad, that is. See, if you don't like pirates, pirates are great. <laughs> so we've got one vote for... I don't know what we've got votes for. We've got a vote for pirate and a vote against pirate. So he's voting against you again, be McIntyre. But you like us, and we be pirates, me Alright, let's start the fight. Let it commence. Let's see how bad this bloodbath goes. But he's got his tribal elephants in the wrong place. <laughs> that he does. But you never know. 
Well, pirates just decimate it. <laughs> so that's one to pirate. Of all the sort of generic themes, I just can't dig pirates. Love cowboys, ninjas, samurai tribes, all the rest of the generic theme gang. I, I, I don't really love cowboys, that's where we differ. <laughs> I used to be all ninjas versus pirates, but then I guess I got older and decided to turn pirates because I don't know, just happened. So let's see the second round, see if we get another wipe. That seems to happen a lot in this game. I don't think the teams are really that well balanced, I'll be honest. But we'll see how it goes anyway because every other plan I've come up with today has failed, so miraculously. That's why we're playing tabs. Wow, the pirates wreck tribal. Nah, n ninja pirates have cannons. Pirates absolutely brutally murder ninjas. <laughs> Where do we stand on privateers? Privateers are technically pirates. Most of the privateers turn pirate. Hello, tricks. So, in that round. Pirates are the victors by a long time. <laughs> that that would probably make it a bit unbalanced, McIntyre. We'll try it. We'll see if it actually changes anything. <laughs> but that kind of takes... That kind of stops the entire thing being kind of fair, I guess. But we'll try it. We'll see if that makes a difference. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, it's on balance anyway, kind of. Right, let's see how they, this goes then. <laughs> it's still at the front. It still didn't help them at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's it's alright, me McIntyre. That 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 round's over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thought that was going well for the try for a second, and then it. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> Spooky had a better chance. <laughs> Who are you for your slash I'm not, I'm not trying to sort like uh, like proper formations in. I'll be honest. Uh, I'm just trying to get two battles to work that I think feel are in a balanced position. So pirate one, <laughs> three rounds instead of the two. So the next we've got Vikings versus Ancients. Well, it's not fair in terms of price. Pirates have double the cash. This was not fair in any kind of way. I mean, I won, but I feel dirty. I'll probably find a, find a way with a bit of preparation to make these battles a bit more fair, but <laughs> I'm just doing it numbers at the this time round. Vikings, I'm not too big on either, actually. North mythology, me like. Viking, me no care. So, wax going ancient. <laughs> you have two minutes to decide who you think will win. I feel like Trix might know, because I feel like they um, either play this a lot or watch it a lot. Both, you do both. <laughs> so this is going to be the kind of tournament that really annoys him. <laughs> well, annoys tricks. Cheers for the follow tricks. Um, I will get better at these tournaments. I will figure it out. I will probably play the game a bit more so I can actually figure out the best way of doing these tournaments. 
Um, so, first off, we have Viking. So, we're going to have our line of headbutters at the front. Boo, Viking! Looks like I'm stuck with the Vikings. Give him hell, Bajon Fig and Sticker. Boo, Viking! <laughs> Three, four, five. Two, three. This is the first official tabs tournament. There will be better ones eventually. Eventually. And apparently my symmetry has gone a bit off whack here. Wait, the Ancients have cannons? No, I haven't sorted that team out yet! The McIntyre, that's, they're still pirates. This highlighted post is brought to you by my Ancients gang. Fuck Vikings. <laughs> G give me a chance for McIntyre. <laughs> If I was on PC, this would probably be easier to sort out, but I'm not. Um, so, Ancients... Here we go. Oh yeah, Ancients are prob might, might struggle a bit, because this is going to be 12 people with shields. I don't know, though. They might be able to do it. I think Vikings will lose because Ancient has got more range in their melee units, and Zeus is pretty devastating against groups. And since this console, Yarl is not actually strong and Ballistas will wreck. Okay. It depends if you're thinking that I actually know how to balance the armies, though. <laughs> I just basically put all the cheap ones at the front in an army of 12, and then an army of 5 with the next cheapest. Is <laughs> yes, that is a vote. Lee McIntyre, you are not mistaken. <laughs> that is not a boat. I mean, that is a boat. Yep, that's how it works in this game. <laughs> That is exactly how it works in this game. It came in useful for one of my pirate missions because I decided I was only being pirates and I couldn't get past the mission. So I thought, well, technically Vikings are pirates, so I stole the ship and brought that along. And it worked, so. Right, so are we ready? This is the first Viking versus Ancient tournament. By Ancients, do I mean Greeks or some sort of mishmash? Yeah, Romans and Greeks. You can you can kind of tell by their armies because you got the Minotaur, which are Greek, the Zeus, which is Greek, and then you kind of got like the Roman legionnaires at the front with their shields. So yeah, because you got hoplites and yeah, you got all your hoplites. So basically, just the front line and the ballista are Romans. Right, let's get to the battle. And I'll try and zoom in as quickly as I can. Oh. So, the Vikings seem to be uh, giving... Well, it seems... Well, yep. The Vikings are giving a lot of grief, but Zeus and the Ballista Trifecto are kind of keeping them back. Well, no, Ballistas are gone. So it's Zeus against the Viking army, the Viking hordes. Can Zeus... no. I was going to say, can Zeus win? Apparently not. So that is one to the Viking hordes. Wait, yeah, yeah, that is one to the Viking Hordes. 
Right, so let's see if the Minotaur's kind of screwed the Ancient over. <laughs> I, 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 might, I might have missed how that went. <laughs> I'm guessing they probably ran through the uh, whole army and just put them off. Let's see if that doesn't happen this time. Who's this Viking fucker who can't can just tank apparently? It's a bolts of lightning. That's a Yarl. I'll actually say it right for change. <laughs> yeah. The Minotaurs are just pretty much running through everybody. But yeah, the Minotaurs have got into the battle. Oh, it looks like the Ancients might actually win this one. Then again, there's some random guy all the way at the back. So these two teams seem pretty balanced, to be fair. These are pretty... This is a pretty balanced fight. Eyal, as in just some bloke with a fairly high rank. Yes. I think this... Um, I think the second highest rank to king. I think they're like the king's vessels kind of thing. If we're thinking in ancient terms or medieval terms. But I've been watching... Who's the Viking that decided to drag a boat into a land battle? Well, some... <laughs> I missed that part. So we've got one win each. So this is the best... Who's going to win the next match? Because that's the one that decides it. Maybe let's make this battles three out of three. Yeah, that's the plan. Because they've got one win each at the moment. I mean, second to king of humans through right. Like, not second only to the king if you included, say, a pantheon of gods. Well, yeah. This is Monty Python's wooden rabbit tactics. Pretty much. I didn't want to do that. Right, let's see how the battle goes again. Yeah, so three wins declares the winner, pretty much. Well, the Ancients seem to be on the upper hand again. Someone's apparently alive and a mass horde of snakes just took them out. I'm so... <laughs> Well, obviously, in that case, whack, then gods, then king, then Jarls. Right, so blue one again. So ancient is winning at the moment. So let's see who wins again. Because this is first to three now. Because the other two, the other battles went really early and seemed to be one-sided. Maybe they're not as wrong-sided as I apparently first thought. By the way, ice archers don't do damage. All they do is freeze and slow down the enemies until the f until they freeze to death. Ah, I see. So we got a minotaur who. So ancients win. After the first battle where the Vikings looked like they would be winning, the um, Ancients came back and decimated. So Ancients are through. So next we have... Medieval versus Dynasty. And... Trying to get back to this. Yeah, it was just that the first time the Minotaurs kind of got stuck in the blisters and screwed the battle over. Ah. 
I bet that first one put you a bit on edge. <laughs> so, Ancient for the win on that one. Yeah, I, I kind of missed that. I'm going to have to watch that back again at some point. I just concentrate too much on the camera, obviously. Uh, so, start prediction. Who will win? Out of... Medieval... And Dynasty. Pretty shameful when you lose a round to a team that's stuck trying, tying up half their force, dragging a fucking boat into the fight. <laughs> ah yes, optimal betting strategy. Bet a thousand. If I lose, I lose a thousand. If I win, I win ten. <laughs> So here we go. I finally put the vote up. I was actually reading Wax comment first for some reason. <laughs> to be fair, that boat is pretty powerful. It's gotten it's gotten me through missions when I was trying to do my pirate only um, challenge. So let's slowly remove this side and work on this side, even though I, f I feel like I can just go like that. I feel like I know the layout now, so... Oh, does that only get rid of one side? Okay. <sighs> so I could have done that the entire time. I thought it would wipe both sides. It's a fucking boat in a forest. <laughs> This is this is gonna be, um, be McIntyre's. This is just be McIntyre's thing now. He likes boats in forests. So we got the Bardic army to start the fight off. <laughs> oh god, I, I, I'm not gonna say anything, but I, I'm, I'm guessing you're thinking what I'm thinking, Tricks. But you know more about the games. So this. You never know, they might actually win it. If Dynasty is the Chinese Free Wars period, yeah it is. And the Medieval don't have King Arthur, then I'm pretty sure Dynasty should win, historically speaking. And since this is totally accurate battle simulated, that should come true. Medievals are good, but their projectiles would be useless because of the samurais and the monkey king being able to jump into their asses. <laughs> and the dragons would also burn their asses. <laughs> I, I like the way you put that. I do like the way you put that. Oh, Dynasty has Wukong, that's it. Wait, I won't suppose to do that. That's the one. We don't want them having a king as well. That won't make for this going very well. Um, so, we have Dynasty now to set up. I accidentally um, knocked the controller way too much. There we go, 12. Then we've got some firework arches. Yeah, Dynasty is not only Chinese, Dynasty also has got Samurais. So it'll be basically... You think Dynasty Royals and Samurai Royals making up, that's this army. The best of Sengoku era and the Three Kingdoms. These big units are so hard to place and try and get symmetrical. <laughs> that bloke is just called King. Is he just random King like everyone else? 
get some mythological figure, and King Arthur is one of the most famous myths of all time, and they just get king. No, he is not the not king. He is the king. Oh man, if it's Sunrise 2, then I've got to rip my boys. Not like it helped you in Civ, eh, whack? <laughs> right, so I did set the thing, didn't I, yeah? Pretty sure I did. Yeah, I would have done. Just making sure. <laughs> so, Medieval Fruits Dynasty, let's see how this goes. Samurai's block projectiles, by the way. Dear Irian, shut the fuck up about that. I, I can find out where you live. <laughs> I can't help it, Wack. I can't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, let's see how this goes. To be fair, you haven't lost that civilization civilization battle yet. We haven't finished it yet. And Monkey King uses Shadow Clone Jutsu. Oh, nice. I got away, man. It's all good. Right, let's see how the battle goes. Straight away, the dragons are burning everything in their path. Yeah, I feel, I feel like um, Trix's prediction is... Did the dragons just fall over? Or did they just get knocked over by catapults? Um, I don't think the Shadow Clone Jutsu worked with the catapults. Why are the people in Dragon's t -post? I'm not entirely sure. Now it's Hawatcha versus Catapult. I'm going to have to watch this. Oh, so there's, there's also Korea in that, in Dynasty Army, because they're the ones with Hirachas. So we've got the King versus Hirachas. The King is probably going to lose, yep. Yeah. Blue victory. So Dynasty wins round one. I only know that because of civilization, I'll be honest. <laughs> So it's basically just a mishmash of Asian cultures all in one. Yep. Let's see how the next round goes. Imagine if there were my calling arches. Oh, I know. Is there actually from the Koreans or Mongols in this case though? I think it was invented by Korea but the Mongols used it too. I have no idea on that whack, I'll be honest. I had no idea how the Hoacha was made was used by Mongols. Well, it looks like this one's going to be pure dynasty by the fact that her watches just decimate everything. Why didn't they bring some boats? I hear those amazing in black combat. <sighs> right. To be fair, I only know it from playing Ghost of Tsushima. Ah, I see. Right, third round. Let's see if... Medieval can even get a win in. I would say no, because then my watches are pretty much the game winners of this one. But if you look at the price, you can kind of tell why. But it's close. It's just Medieval are just slightly less powerful. And plus, the Bards. <laughs> All the Bards ever do is run around. <laughs> As soon as I put the bards down, I knew, well, this is 12 units. These are 12 units that aren't going to do a lot. <laughs> I love all them archer fire just for one bard. It's 
Great. Well, the king's not gonna make it, we know that for a fact. The king's just gonna die there. What is happening now? They're all... The watch, I'm guessing there's a bard around somewhere because now the watches have got stuck. <laughs> a person glitched on the ground. <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> Click F. Oh yeah, this is Xbox, I don't think that works. Go ahead and call this one. <laughs> I think that's probably an idea. Oh wait, I only know PC. Yeah. I'm guessing there's a bard somewhere that's run to the edge or something. I'm not... I know they ran off at the start. And there's something going on here. Gamepad layout. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for best S unit. Oh, what did I just possess? Okay, um, well, we're gonna have to skip this one because somehow this guy's got glitched in the world. <laughs> Stuck on the ground. He did point out going down, but it's taking a while. So, right. So, Dynasty would have won anyways. So, Dynasty won wins. Dynasty goes through. So, we will end that battle. And now we've got... I will... I will... I will um, since I know Trix knows a lot, <laughs> I'm just going to secretly throw this prediction out there. <laughs> Make the other two of your guess. <laughs> so, the prediction is about to come up. So, who do you think will win out of... These two. Wild West and Farmer. So now I know how I do this. It's... Is it Farmer with Shotgun from DBZ? Yeah, farmer is kind of screwed. <laughs> yes, whack. Farmer is that from um, DBZ. We've got some cactus men, some miners, dynamite throwers. Not even we but wheelbowers will be enough though. Cactus and gunslingers. Press X to doubt. I've bet thousands on them, so farmers will win. <laughs> How do you beat a pitchfork if you've only got guns and bombs? And there are too many ranged units for the scarecrows to be effective. Maybe you've had tanks. <laughs> Um, I'm guessing no one was here for the early fight, actually, with the um, Wild West versus the Renaissance. I'm just going to say that a Renaissance tank did not really have the effect. Of 
Because the Renaissance technically have tanks. So here we go. We got some halflings. So we got Frodo, Samwise, Merry and Pippin. It might go all right. <laughs> they won't be able to make the Wild West guys drunk. No, probably not. So we've got some pitchforks. We've got some hay balers. And some potion sellers. And some harvesters. <laughs> and some nice wheelbarrows. And a scarecrow. I like that the Zeus equivalent is guy who shoot quick in like the, like in the movies. And this console quick draw is actually good. Ah, so there's a big... Well, yeah, I know console's quite far behind. I'm just not sure how far now. Here we go. So we have horses and wheelbarrows going everywhere. I've seen Wizard of Oz based animes before. Scarecrow will, Scarecrow will wreck easy. Were you saying whack? <laughs> so that is one for Wild West. How could this be? <laughs> Hey, you might still win. You've still got three more rounds. Probably not very likely, but... <laughs> How could this be rigged? How? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Gaming Bro 6000. And hi. It's pretty far behind, they don't have the unit creator and also don't have the balance changes like the Jarl being the most expensive and most powerful viking. Critic job doesn't actually suck, etc. Wait, are we judging on this this on combat? I thought we were competing in crop yield. <laughs> no, we're judging on this combat. <laughs> and we got the third round, which I think we all know how it's going to be going. Good game, thanks for the 1k points, Wack. <laughs> Why didn't I get points for following? Oh, it's, um, it's for, um... Do you get points for following? I don't know, I don't know if you didn't, why you didn't get points for following. I don't... Don't actually know if that's a thing or not. So the last combat is gonna go crazy. You're supposed to get 300 points for following, but I got zero. Well, that's weird. Huh. Oh. I have to look see if it's an option I've got to put on or whatnot. I apologise. I don't know why you're not getting your points if you're supposed to get points. It's weird. Um, so. <laughs> you got minus 300 points for the undisclosed sins of your past. Don't mind whack, he just jokes. <laughs> So Wild West won. It's so the next is Pirate versus Ancient. The only sin I've made is making a suicide halfling. <laughs> Wait, that's no, that's not the right button. I do that sometimes. Um, so. Next battle 
I ain't even put the thing up yet. So, prediction is about to come. <laughs> the farmer still had better parts at the end of it. It was a draw at the worst. Give me half points, mate. He holds a bomb on a stick and jumps and dunks you. Oh, nice. So, the outcome of that one was um, Wild West. So yeah, after this I will actually look into seeing why you didn't get a 300 points and sit well. I don't think I'll ever be able to give you the points back, but just vote against Whack, he'll probably give you some free points. <laughs> Who will win? So we got the semi-finals. Pirates. Versus Ancient. I'm not even supposed to be saying, but you know. Oh, it's, the vote's not up yet. It's just about to come up now. There we go. The vote is now up. Can't vote no, no points. I thought you'd have had some by now. Don't it usually give you so many points every so many minutes? Or are my points somehow broken? It'd be weird if that's the case. Oh, that's weird. Okay, now I can because I've got 10 for watching. Okay, that's good. All good. Sorry about that. I don't know why it's not given the... Um, any points. <laughs> Pro probably against the 1k, but I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on that one. Because I don't know which team will win myself. Tricks will probably uh, let you know on that one soon, though. Tricks has very good knowledge of the game, I found out in the not one that he's been in, actually. Okay, I voted Pirates since you told me to vote against the 10k. Biggest chance of um, getting the points. Oh man, man, I could win 13 points in this easy. And I just accidentally put the same points in. I hope you win. I don't know which team will win. but <laughs> The best bet is to always vote with tricks. <laughs> Ready to lose 1k more. <laughs> so, now we've got Ancient. I've never lost a bet, and never will I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Does he know he can get rid of the unit cap? Um, I guess I don't, but... First tournament, I thought I'd keep it small. <laughs> I don't know how to balance the units, anyway. Don't think he can, this is console. Ah, okay. Yeah, that might be a con that might be a um, problem with playing it a console. Ah, uh, okay. So I can then. So the Minotaurs may do the same thing again. I 
I don't know how I balance it with the bigger unit cap. Right, so. Let's see how this battle goes. We are all ready. Fight! Well, that Minotaur went absolutely flying across the map. Guns! Gotta love me some guns, me arty. <laughs> well, Zeus just got a cannon to the face, so... Pirates have won one. Oh, you haven't won yet. There's still another two rounds for them to win yet. So let's see if they can keep it up. So. We won this round, Gaming Bro. 6,000. No, I get more points so I can actually vote. Oh, I think the Pirates are going to win anyway, so... <laughs> it's the overall victor who gets the points. And if they, if they draw, then it just extends it so you get 10 more points either way. But the Pirates are winning again, so no problems. Dear Irian, I was not informed at the start of this betting contract that you would be extensively and excessively cheating. As such, I would like to rescind my bets and I will see you in court. <laughs> well, what do you expect, Mirarty? Pirates! Do whack-a-mole. Guns. <laughs> so, the third round, the third maybe final round. I understand the ball. Have a nice day. Not understandable, have a nice day. That must be the best pirate I've ever seen. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I might have messed that up. Wrong Dundon. <laughs> oh, Pirates of Caribbean. I see. Dun, 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 dun. I get it now. Oh god, the Pirates actually possibly losing this one. It looks like Ancient might actually win one. It's best of it's best first of three. So, let's see who wins again. Bowels can take lightning. Um, <laughs> we, we changed it a little bit. From earlier. No, it's first who wins three. Is what I mean. Gaming bro, don't worry. <laughs> Holy shit, I won a round. Cough. I mean, yes, this is always going to happen in a fair challenge. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, it was originally first. It was originally best of three, but uh, then we end up changing it because of um, was it Vikings versus Ancient or something. So Pirates have won overall. Submit score. Tricks knows his stuff. <laughs> you do. You do, in fact, get points. And I am very f happy that the Pirates won. There we go. You've now got your points. The war has not necessarily gone in our favour. <laughs> you, you're good at this. You're good at Beth. This is why. This. This is why you never bet against pirates, Miarity. Until they actually lose. Play the theme song as a victory song. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the bits for that. Redeem pirate voice. Oh, so the next round is who will win? I do have the um, pirate song. I think I've still got the pirate song in me um, sound effects, but unfortunately, it be with bits. What else? But. I can do this. Or can I? No, oh, no, I don't have it in there now. Never mind, it's not in there anymore. I would have played a cannon salute, a 21 gun salute, but it turns out I can't actually use community points anymore. They seem to have moved that function. I'm guessing there was too many cases where the streamer was probably spamming their own chat with the things. Thank you for that gaming bro. <laughs> Who will win? That's as much as I know. Right. My friend does not allow me to link to click that link. Right, who's next? I need to get this done. Um, Dynasty versus Wild West. The next vote is up now. A little bit behind what I said, but we got there in the end. Look, here's the deal. I know guns are strong, but I refuse to not vote for Dynasty. Mmm, guns. <laughs> Dynasty got dragons, but West got guns. That be true, Miarity. Her watches are powerful, but cacti. I 
I'm gonna let you lot vote on this because I'll probably be wrong whatever I vote for. But I would I would vote the Wild West should win. <laughs> right, so I need to go back. So we have Dynasty versus Wild West. So here be Wax Army. <laughs> 69 points for the West, I see. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it makes sense. Will Wax Pride get the better of him again? We will see. The Samurai will get blown up or mined. that one. Ah, buffering. <laughs> there we go. There, there we go. While I'm setting up my army, I'll do that. Monkey King at the back. Who well, actually will kill the dragons, that's my guess. That's probably why they kept dying every other round, actually. I mean, that's what probably why they kept dying every other round. So. Right. <laughs> Fine, Whack, I'll play you this one for you. Since, since this one actually won. What can I do it? Oh, never mind. Fuck. Not a mole, an idiot. <laughs> I prefer whack a moron. It just uses more letters for a more devastating insult. It's that one I'd be after. Yeah. 
There you go, Wack, just for you. Now to get on with the flying. <laughs> right. Back to getting the Wild West into the actual fights. Stop the playlist now. When the World West win, I will allow the song to be played. Here we go. I don't want too many issues with um, any copyright or anything. There we go. Right. The fight be ready. I'm still in pirate because I ain't done a fight yet without pirate. So, here we go. Hello, are you, Nicholas? Welcome to the party. <laughs> I have to say, this sounds like pirate shit and not shit. Jameson jams for the samurai. You need to win for them, J whack. But who knows? You know I play other content, so that'll probably happen at some point. Yeah, I dig that one. The use of the one is pretty damn clever. Right, let's get the fight on. See who wins. So, we've got two watchers versus the rest of the Wild West group. And that's that battle over. <laughs> right, so, that is one for the Wild West. Tricks plus the devastating power of the insult has crippled my self esteem for decades to come. It's so it so it's definitely effective. Would you say super effective, Wack? I don't need to speak in that speak that voice now actually. Uh, right, so we've got another round. Let's see who wins. So the Watchers have yet again murdered all the dragons. Come on West, you can do this. I don't know if they can. <laughs> One nil. sides. No, I haven't. So it's one all. Right, so... Next. Whew, this one seems like a close matchup. Let's see if that is the case. Thank you. 
Oh, I don't know. It's not looking great. Is uh, what you gotta watch out for. I, I would apologize, but no. So, Dynasty is ahead at this point. So, let's see who, if um, Dynasty take it out or run or win. So, let's see who wins. So, two dragons have already been wiped out <laughs> by the Hoaches. So, Dynasty wins. Dynasty are the victors of that fight. So now, the final is between Pirates and Dynasty. I told you... I told you all that watching anime my whole life and being a degenerate weeb would pay off. <laughs> You haven't won the entire thing yet, Work. You've still got the pirates to take on. You you have finally got to the final with something, though. <laughs> mm, that was actually quite surprising. I guess it was because the watchers weren't exactly aligned with dragons to kill them. And now I've got to find it again. Oh, okay, but I, w I will be putting a one up for whack as well. Pirates were followed by Shido and respect to the Samurai and totally use fair tactics, right? <laughs> yeah, sure they will, Wack. Sure they will. Right, so I need to get back. Oh yeah, I know why I'm, why I'm confused. There we go. Complete prediction outcome. The Dynasty won. Out of the surprise of everyone. So, Dynasty is the winners. And we're going to start the next prediction. Pirates versus ninjas, the way it should be. <laughs> I, I just accidentally typed in ninjas though, which I wasn't supposed to do. Ha, now that I've got my own 1000 points, I can bet 1000 on the next one. <laughs>
Did I read? Mm, that was actually quite surprising. I guess it was because their archers weren't exactly aligned with Dragon's Kill them. I think I read that. Uh, uh, to be fair, I thought the Huachas would still take all three of them out. And I think they did a couple of times, just not every time. Samurais can't deflect cannonballs. Oh, I got what you mean, it's fine tricks. So... Let us get the next two armies ready. Even though I could have technically kept the uh, dynasty there, but I like to keep on the sides they're supposed to be on. I've got something for your victory as well. And I think you'll like it, maybe. Plus bowels are protected from projectiles. Depends on whether this is anime or real life, and considering the dragons and Sun Rukon, I'm not so sure. <laughs> well, Sun Rukon, I think, was the main problem for the Western armies, because he was keeping their attention off their watches. And generally, sp the watches would uh, take everyone else out. Why is that unit falling over? Kind of messed that formation up a bit. I'm not the greatest at placing things, I'll be honest. You have to keep an eye on that crumpled buccaneer for some reason. I don't know why he's on the floor already, but I'm assuming he'll be back on his feet when it starts. Now for the main event. Let's see who the victors of this tournament are. Obviously the victors of the next tournament might be completely different. Because I might actually put the other ones in. So, <laughs> Wax Gone Dynasty again, I see. Um. Oh, Wax Wack, got a top tip, apparently. Wax top tip. Play the Watcher so he doesn't kill my own fucking dragons. <laughs> that, that's just how it's supposed to be placed. Red Dead Redemption 2 is the best game, game ever. Changed my mind. I don't like the Western theme much at all, I'll be honest. <laughs> So, I'm not much of, I've never played, I've, well I have played Red Dead Redemption, but I never really got far in it. I prefer other themes, so there's better games for me, generally.
I was more excited when Grand Theft Auto came out than Red Dead. But I don't really generally like modern themes either. Right, so that music's finished. So here's yours, Whack. I hope you like this and I hope you actually get it. I feel like you would. For your victory. If you don't know this one, work um scared. Minecraft is great, to be fair. Minecraft is um This is culture. No, this is Patrick. Right, you guys keep getting me caught up in conversations when I should really be continuing these rounds. <laughs> this is Requiem. Right, so... And this is good theme to finish off with this, for this entire battle, I guess. Let's go. Start the final fight. Who thought Lou Beam's Lou Boo's theme would be <laughs> such great battle music? So first round goes to the pirates. Oh, whack, that's disappointing to hear. At least you know what it is. I'll let you off just because you know what it won. Oh, High Royal Warriors is good. I did play the first one, it was pretty good. Also, ironically, I've played Pirate Warriors, though that's specifically one pace. So, next fight, let's see who wins. Let's see if the pirates can keep up the charge. One Piece is going to win against the original series. So, it looks like Pirates have won again. I said at the start of this championship, I didn't think Pirates would even get this far. So I'm quite happy to see them win. Well, yeah. Cannons beat everything. That's why we still technically use them nowadays, I guess. Alright, so third round, let's see if Dynasty can um, get it back. To be fair, Wack, cannons also do friendly fire damage. <laughs> so if the cannons take out any pirates, that is also a thing. I know from experience. <laughs> Most of them artillery units are like death to the rest of the army. So I tend not to use them unless I really need them to take out some of big when I'm playing it. So here's the third and possibly final round. Pirates vs Dynasty. Fight to Lubu's theme. <laughs> My dad just cooked some popcorn so I can watch this as a movie. None of that things are equal, bullshit. I'm losing them for they are. 
There are shenanigans. <laughs> so there's some T posing. Um, so this could be a battle of watchers versus cannons. <laughs> And them T posing guys just running and getting hit by. Oh! Blue victory! <laughs> well, the dynasty aren't out apparently. Mike will be happy to know he at least got one victory in there. Whack is using cheats! <laughs> now, I won't be surprised to be fair. Actually, I need to stop the music in the background. I didn't mean it to go through all the Lou Beams, Lou Beams, uh, Lou Boo's themes. It's a shame it's not Pirates versus Vikings, because then I'll have the perfect theme for it, but that'll come up at some point, and I'll actually have to find the sound for that. So, battle. Also, I'm very offended that the Celts aren't represented with... Kulain as their myth unit. And I apologise, Wack. I might be getting that completely wrong. Wack, in, um... In... In Totally Accurate Battle Simulator Law, the Celts got taken out by um, Potato Famine, that's why they're not included. <laughs> and your dynasty has come to a crashing halt. Possibly. That's probably not what you want to do, pull him towards you. Or maybe not. Nope, blue victory again. Wow, this is going to come down to a final. It's actually going to come down to a final. Just because that harpooner probably did not do a sensible thing by pulling him towards him. So it is now down to the climactic third and final battle. Who will win? Who will take the throne? Hacks! <laughs> now that's just Wukong, Wukong for you. He can just mess the entire game up. Sun Wukong is... A bit of a bitch. I think if he doesn't get past them, it's more of a problem. No, oh, no, I think, I think Dynasty has won. Dynasty has in fact taken it. Well, that was um, surprising. <laughs> Wax, full of hacks and shades. <laughs> I feel like you two are going to get on really well. <laughs> uh, so, the final. Give me back my thousand while you'll lose nothing anyways. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, they do. They lose um, their 69 points they put in. But not... A thousand or anything like that. That's just you when you decide to put all these odds in. So Dynasty is the complete overall winner. By that shocking conclusion. Oh no, my ten points. I'm gonna die. <laughs> 
Uh. So there we go. Oh no, anyways. <laughs> right. I didn't really have a plan after the tournament finished, I'll be honest. Tricks, I apologise for making you homeless from your 10 point debt. I wish you luck in the rest of your clearly short life. <laughs> That, that was an amazingly good battle, considering how one-sided it seemed to be at the start. It pretty much came down to him getting stuck behind these, so the cannons couldn't take him down every time. Probably didn't 100% help with my um, really terrible, like, spacing, but this really was like a movie. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. This is why I... Because I love watching AI stuff, so... And this was a last-minute decision because all my other plans just went down the pan, so... I didn't have this planned at all, i.e. the sizable armies, so... <laughs> next time it will be better. I don't know how long until the next... Totally accurate battle simulator tournament, but I do tournaments every Tuesday of whatever games I found. <laughs> it's eating popcorn just like a movie. Oh man. So, so Whack, do you have any themes to take us out with? Since it's turned into. Like, any themes that aren't as. Um... Gaming themes are perfect, because obviously, like. Oh, actually, I can I can do one probably. Jubal's theme from Blaz Blue. Or Jubay's theme. And then I will end it there. Jubies, I'm getting his name wrong. Also, I'd like to note that I have won this tournament. I am overall down approx 1,000 points. <laughs> well, no one makes you bet a 1,000, but it's nice that you're doing it to give other people some points. 2K. <laughs> so here you go. I hope this is the right one, Whack. So, this is the Victorious Dynasty Army theme, apparently, now according to Wack. Oh, no, that's, that's pretty good, actually. It picked up a little bit. I was going to find a um, Samurai Warrior theme, but this pretty much equals that. So, the Dynasty and the Pirates for the last two battles. And somehow the dynasty pulled it back from a 2-0 loss to take three battles in a row. So I would say these two teams are pretty well balanced. We found the most two balanced, most powerful teams. But too many more totally accurate battle simulator tournaments after I figure out like the best unit sizes and whatnot. I fully approve this pun using my name. <laughs> this battle is totally whack. But it was a good it was a good battle. It's always good when they're a bit close. So this has been Irian from Variety Gamers UK, and this has been Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and this has been every team in a tournament to see which team comes on top. This week, it's Dynasty, but stay tuned because 
I'll probably also do PC ones as well, because I think I've got the game on PC as well. Probably through Game Pass if it's on there. But if not, I'll figure it out, because I think I've got it on Steam. So... Yeah, Dynasty 1, Pirate 2nd. So we'll see if next time it's any different. So thank you all for watching. It's been great you all joining in and voting and having a good laugh. So thank you all for watching and happy gaming. And I hope you've all enjoyed it.